Oh, welcome to the Kadak booth. We're here with our CDC8 running the new 2.3 version software. So I'm just going to give you a little quick guided tour about the new features which are in version 2.3. Uh, we're still doing the very easy scrolling method to locate our channel. So anybody who can operate a smartphone or an iPad will be very comfortable operating a Kadak CDC8. But anyway, we're going to look at the new software stuff now. So if I select my VCA layer, I can now see my 16 VCA groups. The screen is showing me which input channels are members of which VCAs. And we even have a Grandmaster VCA here, which has all 128 input channels in it. The metering shows all of the post-fade levels from the members, so that screen shows me the entire mix, everything that's going on. But if I need to adjust the EQ on the base DI, all I have to do is select the base VCA. That presents me with the members of the VCA, and I'll just go straight to the base DI EQ and make whatever additions I need to. Having done that, I now need to do something to a compressor on one of the backing vocals, select the backing vocal VCA, this brings up the backing vocal channels and straight away I'm into adjusting the compressor. So this speeds up the access time required to find your way around 128 input channels and makes it very, very easy to operate the console using the 24-inch touchscreen. Also in this version of software we have Waves integration. So we can run all of your favourite Waves plugins controlled from the touchscreen on the console with the Wave server connected via an integration card on the back. We have two versions of Fader Flip, so if I select an input layer and I hit Fader Follow, I now have the selected input channel sends to the various different mix buses. If I select one of the buses, I now have the input channels sends to the currently selected bus. So if I want to send my kick drum to bus 9, I just turn it on and push the fader up. So if somebody wants a drum mix, that's how long it takes to push a drum mix together. Select the bus, turn the channels on and push them up. So that makes CDC8 a very quick, easy to use and very viable monitor mixer. Plus the fact that we're running latency of 390 microseconds from analog in on the stage box to analog output on the stage box including the conversions on the way in the way out and the transfer down the digital snake it means cdc8 is equally at home as a monitor console as it is a great sound in front of house console